It's set to be the world's tallest tower and it's looking for buyers. We're here at London Tower as Emar Properties launches a mini Dubai to entice buyers to its latest luxury project. But with slumping property prices and shrinking hotel revenue in the flashy UAE hub, is this really what the market needs? Given Dubai's biggest supplier of tourists is Saudi Arabia, is there appetite right now for extravagance? Not according to the Saudi government's radical reform plan launched this week. With sterling very shaky and nerves frayed ahead of the Brexit vote, Dubai's currency tie to the US may also scare away potential UK buyers. The marketers say the entry point for their new apartments is around seven times less per square foot than for prime central London. But is it UK nationals they are really targeting? Harrods Estate's clients predominantly hail from Russia and the Middle East. So why would a Dubai company come all the way to London's Harrods to market its properties to regional buyers? The Middle East has always been attracted to London, uh, particularly on vacations but, and also education. And that is why we're here, because we want to reach our kind of customer base, our core customer base, but also provide a global reach. Development is a long-term game, and this was planned long before the Dubai real estate market's current woes. So with perfect foresight, would Ema and its architectural team have timed this project for now? The real um, goal is to, is to anticipate what's going to happen over the next 20 years. And the Middle East is a part of the world that's going to grow very strongly over the next 20 years. And presumably outperform the sort of growth rates we're going to see in Europe. On the one hand, one could argue the last thing Dubai needs now is another flashy trophy development. On the other hand, it may be exactly what the weakened market needs. An exciting headline to remind the world Dubai remains the region's, if not the world's, capital of glitz and glamour.